I think this is a very exciting field now in muscle invasive bladder cancer. So in the olden days, uh, people used to treat this as a single modality uh, treatment. So urologists typically would just do a radical cystectomy and lo and behold, we find that a lot of these patients unfortunately don't do well even in the hands of the best surgeons. Um, so what is lacking is that multidisciplinary approach. So I think that is the future wave of uh, treatment for muscle invasive bladder cancer. That there is a lot of collaboration between medical oncologists, between surgeons, as well as radiation oncologists. Um, and, and the real thrust is, is trying to find the right biomarker for the right patient. So for instance, in our session, um, the general session four where uh, I co-chaired uh, the session, we emphasize on the use of molecular markers in order to stratify and predict uh, patients who may do well or better with neoadjuvant chemotherapy or who would do better, let's say, with combined chemoradiation. Um, and certainly a, a lot of future uh, studies also involve the use of immunotherapy because uh, no meeting is going to go uh, finish w without mentioning immunotherapy, but this immunotherapy in the setting of muscle invasive bladder cancer right now is still experimental, but there's a lot of studies that are looking at it. Um, it's very promising, and I think the future will hold immunotherapy in that multidisciplinary setting of muscle invasive bladder cancer.